Math 6, Quarter 1, Week 3, Milk Base. Let's learn about Soap's routine or non-routine problems involving division of fractions. Lesson 2 Hello kids, it's me, Teacher Frel. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share, and hit the notification bell for the latest video. You can also follow my Facebook page, Teacher Frel TV. Hi kids! For today's lesson in Math 6, we will discuss about Solves routine or non-routine problems involving division of fractions. For most essential learning competencies, solves routine or non-routine problems involving division without or with any of the other operations of fractions or mixed fractions using appropriate problem-solving strategies and tools. After going through this lesson, you are expected to solve routine or non-routine problems involving division without or with any of the other operations of fractions and mixed fractions using appropriate problem-solving strategies and tools. To check if division is the operation involved in solving problem, you need to know the following terms. Quotient divided by cut, average, and split in two. Let's do learning task 1. Translate each of the following problem. Write your answer in your notebook. Number 1. The quotient of 9 and 3 fourths and 5 eighths. Quotient means the answer for division. The answer is... 9 and 3 fourths divided by 5 eighths. Number 2. 15 and 1 third divided by 23 over 18. The answer is 15 and 1 third divided by 23 over 18. Number 3. 12 and 1 halves split into 4. Split into means divide. The answer is 12 and 1 halves divided by 4. Number 4. The quotient of 3 and 1 fifths and 2 and 1 thirds. The answer is 3 and 1 fifths divided by 2 and 1 thirds. And number 5. The quantity 6 times 3 and 1 halves over 2. So the answer is Open and close parentheses, 6 times 3 and 1 halves divided by 2. For learning task 2, solve the given problems. Write your answer in your notebook. Number 1. Mario has 12 boxes of pizza. He cut each pizza into 8. How many pieces of pizza will there be? So here is the solution. 12 boxes of pizza divided by 1 8. 12 is a whole number. In fraction, it is 12 over 1. First, rewrite 12. Then change the division sign to multiplication. Then get the reciprocal of the divisor. The reciprocal of 1 8 is 8 over 1. So, there is no cancellation for this fraction. We can now multiply this fraction. So, 12 times 8 equals 96. Then, copy the denominator 1. 96 over 1. Or write this into whole number. 96. 96 pieces of pizza. Number 2. Tony had 5 and 1 half kilograms of sugar. How many cakes can he bake if he will use 1 fourth kilogram of sugar per cake? Here's the solution. 5 and 1 halves 
divided by 1 fourth. First, change the mixed number to improper fraction. 5 times 2 plus 1 equals 11 halves. Then change the division sign to multiplication. Then get the reciprocal of 1 fourth, which is 4 over 1. Then apply cancellation. Cancel 4 and 2. They are both divisible by 2. 2 divided by 2 equals 1 and 4 divided by 2 equals 2. Then multiply. 11 times 2 equals 22. Then 1 times 1 equals 1. 22 over 1. Or write this into whole number. 22. This is the final answer. He can bake 22 cakes. Number 3. What is the average of 2 and 1 thirds and 3 and 1 halves? In this situation, we have to add 2 and 1 thirds and 3 and 1 halves and divide them by 2. First, get the LCD of the denominators 3 and 2. Their LCD is 6. And now we have the same denominators. Next, we will get the numerators of both fraction. To get the numerator, divide 6 by 3. 6 divided by 3 times 1 equals 2. For the second fraction, let's divide 6 divided by 2 times 1 equals 3. And then add. Add the numerators. 2 plus 3 equals 5. Then copy the common denominators, 6. Next, add the whole numbers. 2 plus 3 equals 5. So the answer is 5 and 5, 6. Change this to improper fraction. 5 times 6 plus 5 equals 35 over 6. And then, the whole number 2 can also be written as 2 over 1 to make it fraction. So, change the division sign to multiplication sign. Then, get the reciprocal of 2 over 1. The reciprocal of 2 over 1 is 1 over 2 or 1 halves. Now, multiply. 35 times 1 equals 35. Then, 6 times 2 equals 12. 35 over 12. And then, simplify. Change 35 over 12 to mixed fraction. So, 35 divided by 12 equals 2 and 11 over 12. Number 4. J will put 4 fifths milligrams of salt in each plastic. How many plastics will he need for 14 milligrams of salt? So, for the solution, write 14 milligrams of salt divided by 4 fifths milligram of salt. Rewrite 14 then change the division sign to multiplication sign. Then get the reciprocal of 4 fifths which is 5 fourths. Then apply cancellation. Cancel 14 and 4. They are both divisible by 2. 14 divided by 2 equals 7. And 4 divided by 2 equals 2. Now multiply. 7 times 5 equals 35. Then copy the denominator 2. Next, simplify. Change this to mixed fraction. 35 divided by 2 equals 17 and 1 halves. The answer is 17 and 1 halves plastics of salt. Learning Test 3 Solve the following problems. Write your answer in your notebook. Number 1. How many 1 fifths are there in 17 and 1 halves? For the solution, 17 and 1 halves, you are going to divide this to 1 fifths. 17 and 1 halves divided by 1 fifths. First, change the mixed fraction to improper fraction. 17 times 2 plus 1 equals 35 halves. Change the division sign to multiplication. Then get the reciprocal of 1 fifths, which is 5 over 1. So there is no cancellation for these fractions. Proceed to multiplication. 35 times 5 equals 175. Then 2 times 1 equals 2. 
Then change the answer to mixed fraction. 175 divided by 2 equals 87 and 1 halves. Number 2. How many 2 thirds centimeter can be cut from a 20 centimeter piece of ribbon? Here is the solution. 20 centimeter pieces of ribbon divided by 2 thirds centimeters. Rewrite 20, then change the division sign to multiplication. Then get the reciprocal of 2 thirds, which is 3 halves. Apply cancellation. Cancel 20 and 2. They are both divisible by 2. 20 divided by 2 equals 10, and 2 divided by 2 equals 1. Then multiply. 10 times 3 equals 30. Write the denominator 1. 30 over 1 can also be written in two whole number, which is 30. The answer is 30 pieces of ribbon. Number 3. A glass can hold 1 fifth liters of juice. How many glasses can 13 and 3 fifths liters of juice can be poured into it? Here's the solution. Divide 13 and 3 fifths divided by 1 fifths. First, change the mixed fraction to improper fraction. 13 times 5 plus 3 equals 68 over 5. Then change the division sign to multiplication. Then get the reciprocal of 1 fifths which is 5 over 1. Then apply cancellation. Cancel 5 and 5. They are both divisible by 5. 5 divided by 5 equals 1, and 5 divided by 5 equals 1. Then multiply. 68 times 1 equals 68. 1 times 1 equals 1. Change the answer into a number, which is 68. 68 glasses of juice he can make. Number 4. A tailor uses 2 and 1 halves yards of cloth for a t-shirt. If he has 20 yards of cloth, how many t-shirts can he make? For the solution, 20 yards of clothes divided by 2 and 1 half yards of cloth for a t-shirt. Rewrite 20, then change the division sign to multiplication. Then, change the mixed fraction to improper fraction. 2 times 2 plus 1 equals 5 halves. Get the reciprocal of 5 halves, which is 2 fifths. Then apply cancellation. Cancel 20 and 5. They are both divisible by 5. 20 divided by 5 equals 4. And 5 divided by 5 equals 1. Then multiply. 4 times 2 equals 8. Then copy the denominator 1. The answer is 8 over 1 or 8. He can make 8 t-shirts. And for learning task 4, read the statement. Write agree if you can do it. Disagree if you cannot do it. Or more if you need assistance in doing it. Number 1. I can easily identify the given in a problem. So, for example, your answer is Agree, because you can do it. Number two, I can determine what is asked in the problem easily. For example, your answer is More, because you need assistance. And for number three, I can now easily check whether the operation to be used is division or not because of the phrases and hints I've learned. For example, your answer is disagree because you cannot do it. Number four, I can now easily solve the number sentence involving division of fractions. Number five, I can easily write the label or units of my answer correctly. Number six, I can easily answer or solve any routine problems about division of fractions. Number 7, I can answer or solve non-routine problems about division of fractions easily. Number 8, I can solve the problem on division of fraction without help. And number 9, if needed, I can write my answer in lowest term correctly. 
So kids, it's your turn to answer the following statement. Just write agree if you can do it, disagree if you cannot do it, or more if you need assistance in doing it. So kids, do you understand our lesson for today? Wow! Good job! Kids, I hope you learned a lot from this lesson. Until our next topic, bye-bye kids! Thanks for watching!